Gumby was growing watermelons to raise money to buy his mother a special birthday present. One day, an old man with a beard and pointed hat came by and traded Gumby a bottle of magic potion for a watermelon. The old man said if Gumby would sprinkle the magic potion on the melons, it would make them grow much bigger. But there was one thing Gumby didn't know. Oh, Tut, I forgot to warn the boy that water washes off the magic potion. Oh, well, he'll find out for himself. The magic potion has changed your watermelons. Hey, Pokey, look out! <laughs> Got what? You got nothing now. No melons to sell and no magic potion. We'll capture these creatures and sell them to the zoo. Capture? We'll trap them in this big net, Pokey, and then we'll take them to the zoo. what you have, Sonny. Hmm. What do you call them? Well, uh, zoops, I guess. Hmm. Very interesting specimens. I'll pay you $25 for the lot. Wow. Think of the ice cream that'll buy. There you are, Sonny. Twenty-five dollars. Thank you, sir. What do you want, Gumby? A root beer float. Okay. And I'll have a banana split. That was delicious, Pokey. Let's have another. Sure, but aren't you going to buy your mother's birthday present? Don't worry, we got plenty of money. <laughs> I've been tricked. I'll demand my money back. Ah, this is our lucky day, Gumby. Come on, Pokey. Let's buy Mom's present. Hey there, young man. Come here. Uh, yes, sir. Uh-oh. There are your watermelons, all zoops. Now give me my money back. But, sir, we already spent half of it. Well, then there's only one thing to do. This 
sure is hard work, Pokey. I've really learned my lesson this time. That's good. But it's too bad your mother isn't getting a present. Yeah. Wait, I can still get her a present. I got a great idea, Pokey. You take the watermelons over to the drugstore and fill them with... Wait a minute, Gumby. I've had enough of your ideas for today. Thank you.